What is up guys and welcome back to the channel Guys we back with Americans Living Abroad First time you realize America really messed you up This is part 3 on TikTok Neil We about to check these out Always find these interesting I love these things right here But we finna jump into this Y'all hit that subscribe button Send down those recommendations if you're an American currently living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really- Ha! This is easy. My sister and I own and run a successful business in Europe where we live. Literally every time we're in a car and we see a cop, we totally panic. We grab to make sure we have seatbelts on, we're looking around, we're freaking out. We're not doing anything wrong. We're driving the car legally. Nobody's drunk or anything. Everything's totally normal. But we have total and complete PTSD every time we see a cop and we're in a car. What is Dang, what did they used to do when it was in America? When I see a cop, I just be keep rolling. Normal. But we have total and complete PTSD every time we see a cop and we're in a car. Wild. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? Okay, I have type 1 diabetes and I lived in Costa Rica. The very first day that I was there, my insulin pump stopped working. Oh, this was like some weird fluke unrelated to anything else. But I didn't have a doctor yet or really know where to go. So I went to a pharmacy because I needed to get long acting insulin so I could still treat my disease. And when I went to the pharmacy, the insulin was $20 for a vial. In the United States, I pay $322 for that same vial. Dang, to save a life, it costs the price. That's crazy. That is crazy. I also want to add that I got the insulin over the counter without a prescription. In the United States, I have to see my endocrinologist four times a year to get a prescription for a medication that keeps me alive. And that costs money just to visit them. That is wild. Why? I'm telling it costs a price. It's a price to stay alive. It costs. It's crazy. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? I was living abroad in the UK and I had a job interview. And of course, growing up in the US, you're conditioned to dress so professional, be prepared, have your resume and, and all these things. So I was like that really much. And I remember walking into the interview and they were like, oh, well, you look really snazzy. And I was like, uh, okay, that first of all, I never heard that before in the interview. <laughs> then the secondly, they didn't even ask me anything besides, hey, Kyle, would you like a cup of tea? And I was like, uh, okay never was asked that before ever in any other job interviews we had a tea and we literally like sat and talked about all sorts of stuff personal life their life and we just had a laugh for like 45 minutes and right afterwards they're like you're perfect for the job you fit wow. great and it was really crazy to me and it was a really fun experience i wish the u.s would just chill out sometimes a little bit more yeah because well, now i remember them days going to a job interview Psh they ask some tough questions. They, they be asking some questions that you don't even expect sometimes. I remember I went in for a job interview one time. Uh, probably, it was like for an IT job at a school or something. And I went in there. I'm like, they were asking me stuff. I said, to be honest, really, I, I'm a hands-on where I learn fast. I said, with the job, I'll probably learn it faster. I said, I don't know what none of this stuff y'all talking about. But I said, I, I can learn. I can find the information and all that. And they were just looking at me. Then, too, like, I had an interview. And I know he didn't mention how many people come in the interview. Because usually, you know, you'd have an interview. is usually you and a manager. I went to one interview. It was like six, seven people in there. What do all seven of these people need to interview me for at the same time? That's crazy. American That's a lot of pressure. Abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? So, not currently living abroad, but I did study abroad for four months in Madrid. And I'm not going to get too much into the story. However, I ended up getting way too drunk and was taken to the hospital. <laughs> oh, I woke up, no clue where I was. I'm like, oh my God. I'm getting my stuff together and I'm asking the nurses, you know, where am I? And they're explaining everything to me. And I'm like, well, how am I going to get home? I don't like know where I am. I need to get a bus. The doctors and nurses were like, well, it's okay. We'll just grab you an ambulance. Like, we'll tell us your address. We'll send you an ambulance home. I freak out. I'm like, I don't have the money to pay for that. I cannot pay for that. Oh my God, no, I cannot, no. They looked at me and they were just like, sweetie, it's free. Let us send you home. 
was like, let me get my yeah, stuff together. Yeah, that messed me up. Like, and they gave me no bill either. Dang. If you're an American Must currently nice. living abroad, what is one time that made you realize that America really... So I am from Minnesota, but I live in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. And at the castle, every day, there is a one o'clock gun. It's a cannon that goes off at one o'clock. And I know of it, and sometimes I forget about it. <laughs> Um, and when I do forget about it and I hear it, my impulse reaction is to think it's a gun or, a, or like a bomb and I want to like get out of the area or X, Y, Z. And then I'm like, oh, right. It's a long clock gun. But That's wild. one day I was heading from the National Art Gallery up towards Old College and it went off and I ducked <laughs> like I went down to the ground in the middle of the street with tourists all around me and then had to get up and continue on my way as if nothing happened. That yeah. is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess some people probably do have PTSD. Maybe the, I don't know. Growing up, when you grow up in certain neighborhoods and stuff, like you just be like, oh, somebody's shooting or somebody like you like ask the question. But you're like, oh, snap. What? Never have I ever just went anywhere if I hear a certain sound like I ain't ducking or nothing. But you you gonna look around? Any I feel like any normal person probably would look around if you didn't know. But that's wild. That's wild. Especially with those type. I seen a I seen a couple of people that said when they heard a certain sound they just get down duck and uh that's wild. Maybe I don't go out too much or something because. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. American that, that currently living abroad. Up. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you? This is just from studying abroad in the UK. We were at a public train station, and you had to pay to use the bathroom, and I had never seen that before. And I was uh, like, "Oh my god, that's like, that's like messed up, right?" They were like, "Yeah, but we don't pay for healthcare or college." <laughs> Stop yelling! <laughs> what is one time that made you realize that they America really messed you up? Ooh, I've been waiting for this one. So at the time, I was living in Germany, and I had gotten food poisoning after traveling oh. back from a country. And I was so sick, I was not eating, like not taking anything, and it had been like four or five days. It was really bad. I was too afraid to go to the hospital, one, because I was afraid I couldn't translate, but two, like I just didn't want to deal with everything. But my friend said, no, we have to go. So I went. Tell me why we didn't have to wait on an emergency line. Oh, wow. I was in the emergency room looking around. I was like, where do I sign in? Like, where's the line? Where are all the people? And they're like, no, you can go right in and go sit down. We'll be right with you. And I literally walked straight into the office, like straight in. And while I was struggling to explain what was going on, they brought in five different doctors Dang. of each different one. And it only took them five minutes to come each time when they realized they couldn't help me. It was somebody else they needed. And I didn't have to pay anything on top of that. What See, is what? my experience i probably when i when i hurt my knee if i didn't go through the emergency room or get picked up by the ambulance i think i would have been sitting there with my knee in my thigh the whole time until they finally come call somebody to come probably would have been sitting waiting with my knee just chilling in my thigh that would have been crazy because it hurt one time that made you realize that america really messed you up i'll go first i'm not american however i think it's messed up how americans have no right to paid annual yeah. leave whereas in my job in the uk i get the equivalent of just over eight weeks Dang. if you're an american currently living abroad what is one time that made you realize that america really so I didn't realize this until I moved abroad, but Americans have a very strange concept of freedom. Mm -hmm. Like when you're growing up, you're always told that America is such an amazing place and you know, it's the land of the free, home brave. of the brave. But um, like, I keep hearing these criticisms from people like, oh yeah, but America has the most freedom. Wow, well, yeah, freedom. <laughs> I mean, there may be a few exceptions or nuances, it's but- It's funny because you just said all that with a straight face. <laughs> criticisms from people like, oh yeah, but America has the most freedom. Wow, well, yeah, freedom. <laughs> I mean, there may be a few exceptions or nuances, but in the UK, you're still free. Like that is the biggest lie that Americans are ever told that there aren't other free places. Like I just don't, I don't understand. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I feel like the concept is kind of destroying American democracy. How ironic. Like, they need to kind of understand that they need to work on things to make themselves better yeah. and more free for their citizens. 
Times that made me about land of the free. This healthcare and this tuition need to be freed in. You realize growing up in America was seriously messed up, part two. So as you may know, in the United States, you pretty much need health insurance because not only is healthcare yeah. really, really expensive, but it's also almost never subsidized by the government. But I always had health insurance. Um, I got it through my dad's company, except in 2008 when he was switching jobs, he had to file for new paperwork for health insurance. So for two days, we weren't covered. And like the little, little rascal that I was, I managed to break my arm during those two Dang. days. So for a full day and a half, I couldn't go to the hospital and get an x-ray or get a cast or anything, even though my arm was dang, literally broken. So just sitting there, arm just dangling. Just... Ooh, that would have hurt. Just because it would have been way too expensive without health insurance. So I guess really the only takeaway here is how messed up the healthcare system is in the US because I was covered and I still got completely screwed. That's crazy. time that made you realize that America really messed you up. I currently live abroad in Spain and am under the public health insurance system. Before that, I had surgery to remove two ovarian cysts Ooh. from my left and right cyst and then was diagnosed with endometriosis and my doctor put me on birth control to control my hormones and make sure that I would be okay and not have recurring Dang. cysts. So I get birth control here in Spain and usually it is three euros under health insurance. One time I forgot to renew my prescription with my doctor here and I went to the pharmacy and they told me it was going to be more expensive and I just thought to myself, oh my gosh, it's going to be like $100, $200 and I don't know how I'm going to afford this. I was getting worried because I need to take the pills to regulate my hormones and make sure that I don't have recurring cysts. When the pharmacist rang it up, she told me it was going to be six euros. What? <laughs> American. Hey, it was a little bit more expensive, you know, just not hundreds, thousands of dollars expensive. It was still more. I'm currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? You're an American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really... So I'm living in Italy and I guess for me it's the fact that they don't have to practice active shooter drills mm. throughout their entire educational life. Like when I told my boyfriend who is Italian that we have to go through every grade yeah. practicing active shooter drills maybe two, three times a year, he was appalled. He said, yeah, like fire drills, definitely, but guns? Guns? Like it's crazy because we got little preschoolers, kindergarten first. These kids have to practice on what to do in case a shooter come into school. Like, what? what is this? School's supposed to be safe. It's not even safe no more. Good job, America. Round of applause. You really outdid yourself on this one. Good job. American currently living abroad. What is one time that made you realize that America really messed you up? One of my favorite questions. All right, so last summer I had to go see a doctor, get an x-ray and something else. I don't remember. And this was all in the same visit. And I go downstairs, you know, go pay my bill. And I asked the lady, I was like, hey, where do I go pay? And she told me she's going to, and then she just said, they'll mail it to me. And then I was like, all right, do you by any chance know how much this is going to cost me? Because in my head, I'm freaking out because this would cost me thousands mm -hmm. at home. And she looked at me and she's like, uh... Eh, between 13 and 16 euros. And I'm just like, <gasps> and the best part was I went to go see another doctor about three months ago for something else. And I realized I never got the bill for the last visit. I asked the lady, I was like, do I have to pay for my last visit? Cause I never got a bill. She looked it up and she's just like, no, you don't gotta pay. I'm like, oh, okay, America. Oh, I wish that's how it was. When I got my appointment to, for my, my two week appointment since my surgery. I wish they would tell me that, but this is America. They probably gonna tell me I owe some more money when I get there, but it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but America got to do better, especially with some of these sayings, like if we the land of the free, free healthcare, free tuition, something gotta be free. Cause I mean, freedom ain't even free anymore. I don't think it never was. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. But definitely enjoy this. TikTok Neil. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. I think I subscribe. Yep. Had to hit that subscribe button. But 
Hey, send me more recommendations. Y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.